Hello, this is Chuck from the Andersons, and I have a Yardstar spreader. It's a very heavy duty spreader for homeowners. It's a lot packed into a very small box. So what we're gonna do today is show, take a little bit of extra attention putting this together, and I'm gonna show you how. First, let's get started by taking out the contents. So you've got a lot of piping. That's the basket screen. That's the gearbox assembly. Cover. More tubing for the frame. The impeller. The really good part our hopper, which we're going to turn upside down. One heavy duty wheel. And the other heavy duty wheel. <laughs> See what else we got in here? Got the axle assembly, your bolts and components. Rest of your tubing. So we're going to get this set up and then we're going to show you how to put this thing together. The first step is you take this U-shaped tubing and you need to find these little bugle bolts here. You position that facing the front of this assembly here. And you're going to see that there's four holes for you to put these through and put into the hopper. Just hand tighten them for now. And uh, and if you have an impact, it makes the job much quicker. Next up, we're going to assemble the gearbox, and how we do that is we take the gearbox, as shown here, and we're going to take the impeller, and you want the blades to be up, and you're going to insert that right on the top, and you'll see these little indentations or wings on the, the tube here. You're going to firmly press until it locks into position. Next, we're going to take this cross brace. And it's a short, you know, about 12 inch bar, and it has these little nubs at the end, almost like a, a, a bolt. Now there's a little bit of a trick to put this on, because you've got to get through this little hole, and it just seems a little bit big, but if you tilt it up with the impeller on top, it goes right through, and you just slide it in until it's about halfway. It should look just like that when you're done. We're going to take this U-shaped tubing, insert it into the frame, Take your smaller, these are the smallest bolts that you have, they're an inch and a half. You can insert it into the uh, that portion to keep the lower, it's called the foot, keep the foot on. Then you're going to take these lower handle assemblies, stick the longer two inch bolts into them, insert them into the near this angle. Do both sides. Let them hang like that. And then uh, you're going to take this gear assembly and you're going to insert it into the bottom of the hopper through the hole. And you note that this little mechanism that you have here, the stabilizer, you're going to insert an inch and a half inch or an inch and a half bolt into there. Now, before you put that bolt in all the way, you're going to take these little stabilizer plates and they have this little number stamped in them. You're going to put those to the inside of the spreader. So one goes on the bolt that you just insured, inserted on the foot. The other one goes at the bottom here of the handle assembly. 
like just like that. Butterfingers. Goes to the lower end assembly. And you just rest the other one up on the other side, just like so. Let's do both sides again. You take the stamp there on the inside and you're going to insert one end near the foot, the other end goes like this. You're just going to back it out just a little bit so you can fit the stabilizer bar in there. And you just thread it into the stabilizer bar. up just don't tighten it all, all the way at this point you just want to get in there just just so it stays together okay put your lock nuts and the other four bolts you're ready to proceed to the next step. Okay, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the axle and the bearings and the bushings. So to do that, first step is you just slide it through the lower braces, in through the, the gearbox. It's a little bit difficult getting in the other side. And you wanna massage it through to make sure that this flat part is hitting the gearbox appropriately. Once you slide it so it's even, you're going to take you're going to take the bearing, which is the the larger, the wider of the two. This is the bearing. This is the bushing. You're going to slide that in first, and there's a little tab on there. You're going to point that to the ground here and slide it in like so. And then you're going to take the bear the bushing and slide inside of that bearing. Same thing to the other side. Okay, once you get the bearings and bushings in, you're gonna tighten all the nuts that we had in the former section. Now, with that, you're gonna use a 7 16 inch wrench and a 7 16 inch socket. Okay, once we get the Bolts on, the nuts on snug, we're gonna to go to the next step. The next part of the install is the wheels. Now both wheels are identical. They have the long part of the shaft that goes to the inside. Um, and you'll notice that if you look at the main shaft, there's a hole, if you got the U part shaped to, towards you, there's a hole that is toward the inside of the axle and one to the outside. This is the drive wheel. So you're going to insert the wheel over the end and the pin goes through the wheel and then through the axle. So that will turn the whole assembly and drive the impeller. The other wheel is going to go to the inside, but you'll notice that it doesn't get pinned on the inside. This is the free wheel. It's just going to spin free freely. You're going to stick the cotter pin to the outside and you're going to use the shorter of the two cotter pins. Once you get both cotter pins in, you're going to take a pair of pliers and you're going to bend that cotter pin over so it doesn't fall out. For the free wheel, it's, it's best to hold on to the opposite wheel, that'll keep the axle from turning. A nice big pair of pliers on there. And just turn that wheel, that'll allow you to get some torque on it. Okay, next we're going to install the handle assembly. 
This is the main shaft. You're going to take the end where the holes are drilled closer to the edge compared to the lower assembly. So you want to take the one that uh, where the holes are drilled up toward the top, lay them out next to the two handles. You're going to take your gauge and the assembly to the outside, the lever to the outside. You're going to stick two two inch bolts, which are the medium sized bolts through and stick them through the handles then through the main shaft and through the other side assemble your lock nuts and for this portion you can go ahead and tighten those up right away 7 16 inch socket and wrench is all you need. Okay, on to the next. Okay, this next section does take a little bit of patience. You're going to take this pivot rod, you're going to take the end that has a little bit longer stem here, and you're going to point that away from the spreader. The other portion you're going to insert through the top of the shutoff plate. There's a small hole there and you're just going to rotate it right around until it sticks out toward you. Next, you're going to take this bracket and you're going to take, you're going to point this, we'll call this little swivel down, insert it like so until it's, until it's perpendicular. Next, you're going to stick two inch bolts. Let's just start with one. And you're going to take this handle assembly, like so. And put it all the way through the handles. Insert a nut. And then you're going to put the second one through. Insert your nut. It does take a little bit of finagling. And then you're tightening. Same 7 by 16 Okay, the final part of the assembly is to install this little arm right here. But to do so, it's best to have the ports at the bottom of the spreader open up all the way, as you can see from the video here. So if you, if you position them with this little bracket here, you can see they open and close, so open them up all the way so they're perfectly aligned with the holes at the bottom of the spreader. Now, if you only see one hole, it's because there's a shutoff valve if you just want a spread rate control going to the half of the spread width. So open that up all the way. There's a little lever underneath the spreader. Um, and so when you get to that stage, you're gonna take this little assembly and you're gonna put the lever all the way to the top Stick it in like so, swing it up, and then you're going to actually pull it, the lever forward, and then you're going to slide that in there. Now, this is where you need this, because that's open up all the way, that should read 30, so that's how you're calibrating. So the nut now is stopping right at 30. Now I can put my other nut, nut on. This will stop it in place wide open at 30. So you got a nut on both sides of the plate there. Tighten it up. So on 30, it should read wide open. And then when I close it, it should be all the way closed. So you can see 30, and then 
all the way closed. Final two pieces are this screen, which is really nice to put on top of the spreader when you're pouring your fertilizer in. Any chunks that might be in there get screened off. It's easy to pull out with this little finger hole. And then of course your little cover. Keep product from falling out, and if it's raining, you can keep uh, your product dry. Hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck with your yard star spreader.